The Grinnell Heritage Farm started in 2007 and we started with three acres and now we're at a little over 22 acres. We're certified organic by MOSA and we have been since 2009. Well, we grow a wide variety of things. We grow anything, you know, there's a book out there called Asparagus to Zucchini and we pretty much grow everything in between, you know, that's acceptable for our climate. because we were going from a conventional system in trans so we we're in our transition and adding all of these practices at exactly the time that NRCS was uh, offering help through Equip to do all of these practices. So like adding cover, different cover crop species, uh, managing your, your nutrient um, runoff, things like that. I moved to this particular farm in 2006. It was my grandfather's farm prior to that and um, it was conventionally farmed prior to me moving here, so we started our, our first year of organic transition in 2006. And uh, it had been conventionally row crop mostly, so corn and soybeans with some alfalfa in the preceding decades. And so the soil organic matter when I moved here was somewhere in the one to two percent range on average, I would say. Um, and your individual fields kind of varied a little bit depending on slope. And in our vegetable beds now, we've managed to get our soil organic matters uh, levels up to like 6 to 8 percent since 2006. You know, people who are wary of an organic system, thinking it takes a lot of management, it does. But if you're wary about it, and, but you're, you know, you stay committed, you follow the principles, you make a few mistakes, which is fine. Stick with it and things will get better. Your yields will go up as long as you stay on top of weeds. <laughs> your yields will go up, your soil can improve, you know, you can rejuvenate tired soils. You know, it can be done. I think the most rewarding aspect of what we do is, is that I know, you know, the next generation and my kids are going to have this 80 acre plot of land to do amazing things with. It's going to be left in extremely good condition and hopefully that is going to be able to spread. You know, we've got a lot of people that come out and they look at our farm and having this available to teach other people about this is, is pretty great. Um, and I love being able to spend this much time with my family.